Jaguar's Muslim owner has nasty surprise for Americans, Trump responds with something better. This past weekend, the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Baltimore Ravens traveled overseas to Great Britain to play a little football. That is when these arrogant football players decided that on foreign soil they would stage a protest that has angered Americans across the country. When the national anthem began to play a majority of players on both teams knelt in an utter display of disrespect. Then to add insult to injury, the Jacksonville Jaguars Muslim owner joined in on the protest by locking elbows with the remaining players. After the national anthem finished playing these disrespectful millionaires stood at attention for the next song that played that has all Americans shaking their heads. President Trump witnessed this egregious act and decided to weigh in and put these race baiters back in their place. Over the last year, NFL players have been taking a knee during the national anthem to protest racial oppression in America. Week after week, these players complain about systematic racism in a country that affords them the ability to make millions for catching a ball and run down a field. At any rate, the protests have only grown, and over the weekend these players took it to an all-time low. When the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Baltimore Ravens traveled overseas to play in London, a large chunk of players on both teams knelt during the national anthem. Then, when Britain's anthem, God Save the Queen began to play, the players all stood at attention. Yeah, you just can't make this stuff up, and this proves the lack of intelligence these players really have. The supposed reason for these oppressed NFL players kneeling during the national anthem is to bring awareness to racism in our country. However, they stand for a song that glorifies a monarchy that has actually oppressed millions around the globe. Hello? Did they miss the class on the American Revolutionary War where we fought for our freedom and sovereignty against the British? This action on foreign soil proves just how uneducated these players actually are. Fox News reported, NFL Sunday began with members of the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Baltimore Ravens either taking a knee or locking arms as the U.S. national anthem was sung at London's Wembley Stadium. Those who were not kneeling including the coaches on both teams and Jaguars owner Shahid Khan, locked arms during the national anthem. The players then stood up for God Save the Queen, the British anthem. View image on Twitter. Fox News continued. Most teams in the early afternoon games locked arms in solidarity. At least three team owners joined their players. Several New Orleans Saints players sat during the national anthem. The Jaguars tweeted a photo shortly after the team's defiant message with the caption, Unity. Ravens owner Steve Bisotti released a statement posted on Twitter after the incident, saying, We recognize our players' influence. We respect their demonstration and support the 100%. All voices need to be heard. That's democracy in its highest form. The display marked a tumultuous weekend between the NFL and Trump who called the players kneeling during the Star-Spangled Banner disrespectful. Trump took note of the incidents at the start of the games on Sunday. After this disgusting act was broadcast for all the world to see, two-bit actor, Jesse Williams weighed in on MSNBC with his own delusional claims. Williams claims that NFL players only started participating recently in standing for the national anthem as a ploy to recruit people into the military. Here is more from Daily Mail. Actor Jesse Williams has claimed that the NFL's pre-game national anthem ceremony is a government scam designed to convince boys and girls to fly overseas and kill people. Williams made his comments while speaking to MSNBC about football players kneeling during the pre-game Star Spangled Banner performance to protest race inequality in the United States. Williams, best known for his role on Grey's Anatomy, said that NFL players started participating in the pregame national anthem in 2009 as a Defense Department military recruitment strategy. Saying, we need to stand and pledge for the allegiance and this anthem thing is a scam, Williams told host Thomas Roberts. This is not a part of football. The pregame national anthem, was invented in 2009 by the government, by, paying the NFL to market military recruitment to get more people to fight wars to die. This is not, nothing to do with the NFL or the American pastime or tradition. This is to get boys and girls to go fly overseas and go kill people.
They're marketing and pumping millions of dollars into the NFL to get us to put on a pageant in front of the NFL football games to get you to go off and fight. Williams was referencing a tactic called paid patriotism, which saw the National Guard and Defense Department spending taxpayer money on NFL promotions.